And on the Flow Morning Show, uh, we're talking about uh, our earlier story of these emergency powers, the extension of them, new legislation for them, and parliamentary powers, um, the uh, National and Liberal uh, Coalition side of Victoria who are in opposition have had their uh, viewpoint on this this morning. And I want to explore this with Jeff Borman, who is from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party and in the Upper House, because that's probably where these uh, very intriguing uh, powers that uh, Daniel Andrews is looking to implement are from. Jeff, how are you this morning? I'm good, thanks, Wayne. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's a very real issue that has been presented. Could you explain uh, the short-term nature of finding out about this uh, new bill that's being put to the uh, Victorian Parliament? Well, in what I can only describe as a complete and utter disgrace, I still haven't been briefed or given anything that you can't find in the media. Um, This morning, uh, we have to wait for some journalists in Parliament House who are getting briefed. So we've got the media getting briefed, and the vast majority of the crossbench haven't even had the courtesy of a phone call, and I believe that is just completely disgraceful. It is, um, when you put it in that light. Um, So what is Daniel Andrews, in effect, looking to put in place for Victoria? Well, I can only guess from what I've seen in the media, but from what I understand, the the main changes are going to be that um, a health official will not be calling the shots, a politician will. That can be good or bad, depending on your point of view, but at least um, if there's a problem, you can get rid of the politician at election time. And, th- and that's kind of all I really know well, as, as a fact, for the want of a better term, because um, I've got nothing. All, all I've heard is hearsay, a bit of this, a bit of that, and I'm sitting here, and at some point in time, they're going to expect me to vote on it, and probably not this week, but... Um, I still don't even know what's in it. I haven't even seen the front page. All right. So let's then take a look at what it could mean. Uh, The lower house uh, being presented a bill today. Could that be passed by the lower house, given the numbers um, that that, uh, the Andrews government has there? Would you expect that there be any uh, concerned uh, MPs within Labor ranks or in uh, crossbench ranks in the lower house? Um, One of the problems I think we suffer from in Australia is the level of discipline in the major parties, which is rare for a democracy. Whether the Labor Party people have a concern or not, they will vote as they are um, expected to. And the same goes for the the opposition. The opposition, um, there may be someone that does or doesn't support it, but they as a group will stick with it. But the point at hand is I think they're going to introduce it later today, as I understand it. They may or may not um, debate it on Thursday, because Wednesdays are uh, usually for non- non-government type of business. Um, so come, come Thursday, I, I think, is when it all will, um, will all come out in the wash. But my understanding of it is that there are obviously concerns with the coalition. There are a lot of concerns within the, um, the crossbench, bar the, um, the three that have been uh, helping them along. Um, but apparently uh, no one's really interested, even though we do represent, um, I think, nine of us not involved in this. That's a lot of people we represent that are not even, their representatives are not even getting the courtesy of a, a preliminary briefing. All right, and uh, this is um, the, about uh, the extension of emergency powers and uh, some of those extensions we understand from, uh, well, the media uh, that's been coming out on this would seem to indicate that those powers uh, could be granted even if there wasn't a COVID-19 case or any other medical case necessarily at the time. So this uh, is something that uh, we need to see uh, what the detail is of this bill and why the surprise, that is the question. Jeff Borman from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party, we thank you for joining us to discuss it. Hopefully you'll find out more about it and when it gets to the upper house there might be enough of those in the upper house that if it has a draconic nature to it that would be able to block this bill. I'll, I'll be frank Wayne, with the numbers in the upper house the way they are, with the three cross benches that they've consulted uh, along the way they are happy with it, they have the numbers to get it through. There are a number of things we can try but if um, those cross benches stand fast as I expect them to, sadly this legislation will become a fact of life. All right, uh, that's a very, very interesting situation, one that we'll follow very closely here at Flow News 24. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Wayne.